What's up, people? Uh, sorry, I haven't been doing any videos in a while, but I got a really surprising video for all of you today. And I'll give you a hint. Thunder, 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 cats. Yep, that's right, people. Uh, my first Thundercats review. A lot of people don't know, but I'm a big Thundercats fan, and you will be surprised how lucky I am with this big box of Thundercats toys. This one is a six inch, but eh, what the heck. Now this is, yeah, this is actually the box for my four inch um, Thundercats toys, but I had nowhere else to put this six inch panthro, which I will review soon enough. You know, it's almost quiz Christmas, you know? But, uh, yeah. So, of course, we're starting with you know, the leader of the Thundercats. I mean, why would I start with anybody else? So, yeah. Here's Lionel. Um, you see this Thunderlinks right there? That's used for the play sets, which I might get for Christmas. That's on my wish list. But, yeah. And the Thunder Tank, too, yeah. But, um, yeah. There's Tigra, I have him. Panthro, nope. I don't have Panthro in this in the four inch. I have him in the six inch. But yeah, not in the four inch. Um I got Chitara. I got Wily Kit. Wily Cat and Mumra. Yeah. So I got all these people right here except for this guy right here. Well he's six inch. Well you get what I mean. But, uh, yeah, um, the play sets and the vehicles are the Tower of Omens, the Thunder Tank, and then there's two Thunder Racers which can atta attach to the Thunder Tank. One comes with Lino, one comes with Tigra, but, and then there's another vehicle, the Lizard Cannon, and... Some people who are new to the Thundercats theme, you're probably wondering what, why would they put a lizard cannon right there? Well, it's because, okay, it's because Mumra is, well, Mumra, his, he has a whole army of lizards, and the famous ones from like the old series, are Slythe, Monkeyan, Jackalman, and I think that's about it. There might be one more, but yeah, I think that's all. But let's get to Lino. But yeah, um, Thundercats is an epic fantasy combining swords and science and boasting ferocious battles between good and evil. Lionel wields the Sword of Omens and leads the Thundercats to victory against Mumra, the ultimate villain. Yeah, that's actually true. He is the ultimate villain. But, uh, let's get this baby open. Oop. Wait a sec, let me check my time. Oh, I got good time. Good time. Um, pr I pretty much just spent four minutes talking to you guys this whole time. But yeah, I keep my Thundercats in really good condition. But I didn't do that when I had, like, Lego Spongebob sets. Oh yeah, um, you know those late new Lego Spongebob sets from 2011? Yes, I have them, and I'll be doing a review on them. But did you know that there's going to be some two new sets from 2012 in Lego Spongebob? Yes, and it's going to be from that lot line. But one's called the Undersea Party, and the other's called Flying Dutchman's Ship. 
Or wait. Maybe it's just called the Flying Dutchman. I gotta check back on that, but um here you have Lionel. Uh. Nice sculpt right there. Wait a sec. That's much better. So yeah, um, what I noticed is that in the back, he, it's kind of hair like the old Lino, but he has his shoulder pad and um, his chest plate, and then anybody know who that is? Thundercats. Oh, yes, the Thundercat symbol. But uh, uh, hmm. I don't really like these black pegs on here, but yeah, and and you see these holes on these feet. Well, there's if I remember from Shonix, what from Shonix Lawn said. He said, well, yeah, he said that there was pegs on the Tower of Omens, and there was, and I saw the video, and yeah, but it was to put your Thundercats on, so yeah, oh, you do a great video, Strong Exelon, but anyway, uh, back to the toy, you see this big, huge, well, maybe you don't see it, <laughs> But uh, there's this big magnet on the back of of um, Lino, and it's for the Thunderlinks. But yeah, and Thunderlinks is that thing that I just show you right here. Yeah, but whatever. But um. Uh, so, oh yeah, on to the accessories he has. Um, he has the famous Sword of Omens. This is it when he does the Thunder Thundercats Ho thing. But, yeah, I really wish they would have painted that little red thing right there. Well, I know what it's called. It's the Eye of Thunder, man. But I wish they would have painted painted that thing right there. That well, the eye, yeah. And I also, well, I guess they couldn't have done this, but they could have made a little sculpt of, you know, Thundercat symbol. Symbol. But uh, oh, and here's the short close. I mean, um, sword of omens. Pretty much the same. Well, not really the same, but shorter blade. You know, it's just like what you see in the cartoon. But uh oh, here's the claw shield too. You know, I heard from I think J T Mitchell, eighty seven said that the claw shield was used for a lot a lot of things. I think that's what he said. Maybe that was someone else. But yeah. But yeah. Um, wait just a sec, people. I'm going to show you a really cool feature, what you can do with the Sword of Omens and the Claw Shield. Oh, that was easier... And what I've done, what how I've done it before, but yeah. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get that dagger in, but yep, I got it. Well, looky there, looky there. We got the sword, the short sword moments, and the claw shield. I really like how they. Oh, well, whoops! <laughs> they put. They made the hole, and so you could show the Eye of Thundera. That is really cool. And the side story about that is that you also can put it on his on Lino's arm with the dagger in. I'll show you. Hmm. 
See? You can put it on his arm. With the dagger in. You know, you can't put it on the side like you see in the cartoon. Right there. You can't put it. But the six inch figure can. And I don't have the six inch figure. But I'm gonna get it. You know, if you if you're a kid and all you want is the play sets and the figures that go with the play sets, just get the four inch figures and the play set and the vehicles. And if you're like the display guy like me, but sometimes well yeah, the display guy like me. You probably well. I also collect the four inch, and I'm gonna collect play sets and the vehicles, and you know the role play because Thundercats is just so great that you know I just have to collect everything, you know. And I've seen those toys that they made back then, and I gotta say I really like the old Linos. Um, feature that he that well two of the features that he his eyes <coughs> could glow with well they could glow if you if you had that green thing and then um also the oh yeah the switch that he had on his back and then it would make his arm swings with the sword that could do the sword action but anyway um yeah so, um, I think that's about it. I think that is, but, um, yeah, but, well, back to the six inch stuff. If you're a, a displayer, you probably want to get the Panthro figures, but if you want to put a lot of stuff on display, you're going to have to get the four inch because. Um, you know, it puts more room on your shelf. Like, I think Sean Malone said that too. Our was JT Mitchell 87. Our review spot. Our Matlock WK. But, oh yeah, subscribe to them. But, yeah, I, I don't remember exactly. Oh yeah, and subscribe to Optibotomus. But Antron Exxon. Wait, I already said that. Um wait, did I well, whatever. But um oh yeah, uh I should also show you mm, Yeah, I guess I could show you. But see there's Lion on the six inch. There's Mumra on the six inch. And he might look a little bit different to you if you're new to Thundercats. He is Mumra in the ever living form. You know? Transform this decay form to Mumra the ever living. They, oh, yeah. Um, not sure if you can see that. My camera's kind of dark a little bit here, but there's Tigra. Yeah, yeah. Working a little bit. I'm working. There's Lino. Because they made the they were Bondi was so nice that they made Thundercats. See if you're if you're if you're an old guy and you know well I don't mean for I don't mean about old guys, but you know, if you're if you know about the old cartoon from Thundercats, you probably recognize that logo. But it's Thundercats classic. And Bonnie was so nice to make those toys. And I'm talking fast because I need to get this video done because uh, time's almost up. Oh, so uh, yeah, they're so nice. But bye, guys. Bye.